All right, guys, we have another question from the third chapter of the Merriam textbook on engineering mechanics. And in this one, we have the pin at point A, which connects the 200 kilogram steel beam with center of gravity at point G to the vertical column that is welded both to the beam and to the column. So to test the weld, we have the 80 kilogram man that loads the beam by exerting a 300 Newton force on the rope, which passes through the hole in the beam as we can see so let's talk about this hole in here and we need to calculate the couple or the torque m supported by the pin so if you just want to start with the free body diagram of the beam in here so we have a welded pin at point a which means we're going to consider ax and ay and we have a couple m which is what the question is asking we're going to have the weight of this beam at point g which is going to be a mass time acceleration of gravity. So 200 times 9.81, it's going to be Newton. And we're going to have the weight of this person in here, which is 80 kilograms. So 80 times 9.81, that's going to give us uh, Newton and call our X and Y in here. And we know G is 9.81 meter per square second. And we're going to have the tension from the cable in each of these uh, in these ropes. So we know each of them are 300 Newton. So each 300 Newton. And yeah, that's that's pretty much everything that we have. And we are interested in the moment of M or the couple at point M. And if we just do some of all moments about point A equals zero, since we are in equilibrium, we should be able to find the M. So first of all, we have the M. And if we just do sum of all forces in x direction, we'll see that there is no x because that's the only force in x direction. So we're going to have the moment of the weight, which is a clockwise moment. So negative 200 times 9.81 times the distance is 1200. We're going to have the weight of that person on top of the beam, another clockwise moment. And the distance would be 600 plus 1200, which is 1800. And we're going to have the two 300 forces, one of them, all of them clockwise. So 300 times 1800. And the other one would be 300 Newton times another 300. So that's going to be. So this will be equal to zero. And we just have to calculate this value to find our moment. Let's see what we get. So times 9.81 times 1200 plus 80 times 9.81 times 1800 plus 300 times. You can just factor 300 for those two. It's going to be 3900. And that's going to be our uh, moment based on Newton millimeters because each of our position vectors are based on millimeters. So if we just divide that number by a thousand, we're going to get 4937 Newton meter, or we can just divide that by a thousand too. So 4.937 kilo Newton meter. And our assumption for the direction of the couple was correct. So it is counterclockwise since it's positive. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.